Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be doing something really fun um, and I'm honestly kind of proud of. Today, I'm going to be doing like a sh upcycle shoe transformation video on old shoes that I was planning on just like donating. But then, what inspired me to do this video was I really, really, really wanted these Steve Madden shoes. I still really want them even though I've created a dupe for it. They're just so cute. I'm gonna insert a picture. I don't know why I've never been more obsessed with a pair of sandals in my entire life. I just want them so bad. But I didn't wanna spend $80 on them. I decided that I was going to create a dupe of these shoes because I had a pair of like gladiator sandals that kind of like looked similar to them, but I obviously needed like the studs and all of that. So this inspired me to just transform a ton of shoes that I have. I'm gonna start off with my two favorites today. But we're gonna start off with the studded shoe because this one definitely has the most work in it. What I'm gonna need for this shoe is studs. I got these from Joann's. They did not have them at Michael's. They had other ones at Michael's, but I wasn't really into it. I wanted the ones like the picture. Um, so this is what they look like. They're just like short studs, not pointy or anything like that. I was worried that you would feel these pokey parts. You can see that, but you actually can't at all. I cannot feel them. It doesn't hurt. There isn't any pokey parts. These are like rounded off, so it doesn't hurt when you touch it. I need one bag per shoe. You will need scissors, you will need pliers. This just helps close the clasps. You don't need this. If you wanna do it with your hands, you can. I have a paintbrush. This is actually just from the Dollar Tree. A little thing to mix the paint. You're also going to need these that I got from Michaels. These are actually brads, which is different than a stud, obviously. It was really hard for me to find like different kinds of studs. They really didn't have like a variety at my Michaels or Joann's. I didn't go to Hobby Lobby, but you could check there. They have a little thing on the back end that you can like poke through paper and it sticks, right? Okay, the little metal piece on the end. So what I did is I took some pretty heavy duty scissors. I did try this with pliers first, it did not work. So I don't have the little pokey things in the back anymore. I literally just have this piece of metal. These are the little ones that I used for this stud part. I am thinking about doing the entire thing, but I wanted to make sure I had enough for both shoes first. So to make the nude color, I took brown paint and white paint. Regular acrylic paint, craft paint, is that it's not gonna be shiny and you're gonna have to top it with something like a Mod Podge or something like that. But I did find another paint from Michael's multi-surface acrylic paint, but it has a gloss finish. But use what you have, like don't go to the store just to buy something new when you might have this stuff already at your house. For this shoe, I just cut off the line going down the middle. So I just cut, see like right there? That already came off. Ta-da, we no longer have that little strip. Okay, I changed the view and I also didn't change my pants, so yay. Each shoe got around three to four coats of paint and I let it completely dry in between painting it. Okay, I have my color, so I am just gonna start painting it. So, the paint is completely dry. I'm gonna go ahead and put the studs on now. You have a stud. So you put this on the shoe and then you close these little clasps down. Okay, it's been a little while, but I got the other shoe with the studs on. Now I'm going to put some Mod Podge all over the nude part. And I'm also going to put the brads on the bottom like this. I'm going to use E6000 for this. You could use, I guess, anything that you really wanted. This is just all I have, and I want it to be super durable. Oh, you guys, these are still my favorite. These are so cute. They look so expensive and they weren't. <laughs> I mean, 
cost me under $10 to do all the extra bits to them. Ugh, I'm obsessed. Like I said, I've already worn these a bunch, so this is not new to me, but <laughs> they're so cute. And we're back. And so is my pile of clothes that I decided not to clean up for this video. Um, hey, uh, today is day two of doing the sandals. Now, I actually don't have that much left to do, um, because I finished the nude ones and then we just have these and I completely painted these this actually took quite a bit of coats it's actually more of four to five coats let me just talk to you real quick I woke up this morning I had a bruise on the bottom of my foot yeah I know you can't really see it but I can feel it when I walk on it then I woke up with the bruise on my hand and then I woke up and my back was like in so much pain um like i can't i can barely still like sit up straight it hurts so bad i don't know what happened to me in my sleep but um someone beat me up okay i'm not gonna say it was paranormal could be so all we have to do now is take our little handy dandy brads that are stars, which originally come out looking like these. See, there's like a little thing on the back with like little things that you can like stick to paper. See, see those two little things? Okay, those get cut off because we don't want them. Super easy to just cut these off with these scissors that I have. I just put a big glob of it where I wanted the star. Big glob. Just take your little star, put her down like so. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep doing that. So these, this is how these look on. Super, super cute. Um, yeah, oh my God, I cannot wait to wear these. I love, love, love stars. So I'm super excited to put this with like all my star jewelry. I might have to somehow fix this because I didn't even realize that there's way more on this than there are on this one. So I may have to figure out how like move these stars over. We will see, but they will get fixed nonetheless. I just didn't even realize I put so many on this one. Oh well, um, I should have looked at it before, but it's okay. I will somehow fix it. That is it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed this. I will be posting another um, version of this or like another transforming shoe video because I have a few more sandals that I want to go ahead and transform. Stay tuned for that video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. I would really, really appreciate it. I will see y'all next time. Bye.